All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use the loft tool uh, to create a part in Inventor. So to create loft, a loft, um, we need at least two sketches that are parallel on two parallel planes. Um, so to do that, we're gonna use work planes. So we're, first we're gonna take create one sketch here. So I click Start 2D Sketch, I selected a plane, and we're gonna go ahead and just make a rectangle here at the bottom. Okay, so here we go. Actually, we're gonna make a square. Let's make a six inch square. Okay, and then we're gonna make the sides, constrain the sides to be equal, and finish sketch. Okay, so there we have our square. The next thing we're gonna do is make a work plane. Okay, and so what we need to do is to hide, choose the, the base plane that we're gonna use. So, so in this case, we're gonna use the XZ plane again, then click on, so we highlighted it by clicking on it. Then we're clicking on a work plane. And notice that we're going to go in and actually grab this plane by the, by the yellow circles here and drag it up. So notice that will start at giving us the offset. We're gonna go ahead and make this a two inch offset from zero. Okay, so we made it a zero offset, two inch offset from zero, and then click the, um, the check mark. We're also gonna make another work plane. Okay, so we need, we're gonna use three work planes in this case, we could do more. And so we're gonna highlight the plane again, XC plane, click on the work plane tool, and then click on it and bring it up. Okay, in this case, we're gonna go ahead and make this four inches up <coughs> and click the green check. Okay, so now we have a sketch on the origin plane and then two work planes that are two inches offset from, from the origin plane. Next thing we're gonna do is put a sketch onto the first work plan, and notice I do a Start 2D Sketch tool. And then we're gonna click on the edge of the work plan. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a, um, <coughs> a circle um, that is gonna be in the center of this square. Now we could go ahead and dimension. An easier way to do it is to, um, to take the um, Project Geometry tool and put in the entire square. Actually, you know what, we're just going to dimension it. We'll cover that later. So, Okay, so we have a, a circle, and we're going to go ahead and dimension that circle to be, we're going to have the center. Oops, <laughs> we can't dimension to the other sketch. Okay, so we're going to project geometry, project these two lines here to serve as a way to dimension to our circle. So I clicked project geometry, and I clicked the two lines to bring it into our sketch so that we can use it to dimension. And we're going to make the circle uh, two inches away. Uh, I'm sorry, it was a six inch uh, square. So we're going to make it three inches away uh, from the side and then three inches away from the other side. Okay. Uh, and we're going to make the, uh, the <coughs> excuse me, the diameter of the circle is going to be uh, three inches. Okay. And then we're going to finish sketch. Okay, so we have our two sketches so far, and we can see them here. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a, a third sketch, so we're gonna add it to the top plane. And this time we're gonna go ahead and actually um, uh, bring in that, we can bring in the circle if we want to, but we can also just start it. And we're actually gonna move this one over, so we're gonna take this circle and move it over to the right. Uh, we're gonna make this, um, we're going to bring in our lines again from the square one more time, and we're going to dimension to the circle. We're going to make this uh, one inch over uh, from the side and oh, and five inches over from this side since we since we already have that line in there. Okay, and finish sketch. Oops, I forgot to dimension the circle. <laughs> okay, and we're going to make this 0.5 inches. <coughs> And finish sketch. So we have our three sketches here. So we have a square, we have a circle, and another circle. All right, so it's time to make our loft. So we're going to click on loft, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to add our sketches in. So one, two, and three. And notice that that makes it just fine. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. We can also add um, some different things to it, but this is just a basic loft. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And notice that we get our loft here. So uh, there we go. And let's change the the uh, material to get a better uh, a better look at it. And there we have it. There is our basic loft. Uh, best of luck with the loft tool.